In this video, we're actually going to see how to take everything that we have in this Maya scene and get it over to Unreal. So to do that is actually pretty simple. I'm going to first double check everything in my scene, make sure we're good to go. So I'm going to check my collision object. I just like to move it, have a look at it real quick, check the pivot point. Also check the name is extremely important. If you remember in a previous video, I told you that the naming convention is vital for a collision to work. So you got to make sure that it's called UCX underscore and then it has to have the same name of the base mesh. Okay. So once you do that, select the LOD group in the outliner and also select the collision object. Then go up to file. We're going to go to export selection. And that's going to open up the export window. Make sure you have FBX export selected in the file of type. And then we're going to look at some of the settings. Now there's lots and lots of different settings with the FBX exporter in Maya. Um, you don't have to worry about all the different settings. I'm going to show you the few settings that are vital. You have to have these settings on in order for everything to work and uh, be predictable when you get it over to Unreal. So you want to make sure that under the include options you're going to see a geometry rollout. Make sure smoothing groups is on and smooth mesh is also on. And then you have triangulate down here. Now you could turn that on and when you export this out the FBX export in Maya will automatically triangulate your mesh. Personally I don't like doing that myself. I keep triangulation off and then what I do is in Maya as the last step before I export everything out I'll select all my meshes and I'll manually triangulate them. And then I'll look at them and make sure that the normals, the normal shading, all that stuff looks good. And there's a reason for uh, a method to my madness. The reason for this is um, when an object gets triangulated, the normal shading can actually break. So if you actually baked out something complex, say out of X normal, you got a normal map and all that, and your shading looks a certain way, looks correct, if you allow an exporter like this to triangulate your mesh automatically, it could end up breaking your normals. It might and may not, but it might actually do it. You also want to make sure under the animation rollout you have animation turned on. Animation has to be checked on in order for your LODs to transfer over to Unreal successfully. You also want to make sure that your unit factor is set to 1. Of course, you can actually change that and increase or decrease the size of the object. Also, as of the time of this video, FBX version 2013 is the officially supported version by Epic Games and the Unreal Engine. Depending on when you see this video, that may actually be updated and change. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. So I'll call this UE4 Cube Master. Hit Export Selection. And that's it. We've exported our object. In the next video, we'll jump into Unreal and we'll see how to import it into the Unreal Editor.